Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Xi'an. Day one of Xi'an, and it's snowing. Today, in this video, we are gonna talk about. Wait, instead of talking, let's just let me just show you caves. It's a cold night. They're going out for a little campfire, bonfire. Well, this is heavy. This is very heavy. <laughs> How do I look? Does this make me look shocked? Yes. Nah. Nah. Let's go. And if you're wondering, yes, I am in a cave right now. A muddy, man-made cave. If you're wondering about this black stuff over here, these are suit. The suit from the burning wood of people cooking for decades or even centuries. Uh, this used to be the kitchen. They kind of coated this mud and it made it even more durable than it already was. To get down to the business of how old or how these cave darlings came to be, we have to go back in time. Are we talking about the era of Mao? No. No? No. Okay. Okay. Not the era of Mao or young Mao. We have to go back even further, even before Xi'an was the first ever capital in China. It was way before that. People in Xi'an has been digging these caves for more than 5,000 years. And this one that I'm currently in is about 300 years old. These caves are very scattered, so were the families. So the government tried to unite them. They moved them out of these caves into a brand new village. So the result of this is lots and lots of caves are abandoned just like this one a couple of years ago still don't get fooled there are still about 20 million people 20 million people in Xi'an who lives in cave dwellings that's a big wow so the mountains here are mostly made of mud unlike the ones in Guilin which are made of limestone thousand layered limestones thousand layered cakes that's why people here back then can just dig out holes and just call them homes Oh yeah, speaking of mud, the mud here was actually mud or dust blown from the Tibetan area 3-5 to five million years ago, all the way here. They got stuck here because of that massive, that crazy massive bridge called the Qingling. And they just got stuck here and they, they just stayed here. They couldn't go anywhere else. Oh, speaking of Qingling, I just learned today that Qingling is this crazy ridge that divides China into the northern and the southern parts. If you hear Chinese people say, Dude, yeah, those northerners or those southerners is all divided by this ridge. Kinda interesting, don't you think? And how did I get you? And this, ladies and gents, is how Gerard gets distracted. Back to caves, please. These caves are warmer indoors, um, in caves, than out in the winter, and cooler summer. Which was super effective when it comes to, well, back then. And for people back then, the way that they kept themselves warm in bed was they designed a chimney right beneath their bed. So if you're cooking right beside your bed, your smoke will go through that chimney that is under your bed, and then your bed gets warm. I've always heard about how the northerners do all that, uh, all this. But I've never actually seen it. That's just genius. Why don't I do that? I just can't stress 
how amazing all these are. He's like traveling back in time. I it's like I traveled back in time to see all this. It's I'm speechless. In a good way. If you're considering visiting Xi'an, which you should, drop by and check this place out. This place is up on Airbnb and I'm gonna link it down below. The dude here, Rocky, is gonna be the coolest dude you meet in this area. Period. So what, what are you waiting for? For this video to end? This video will never end. I ramble. You know that. You know that. Uh, I'm serious now, so if you like this video, just the likes button down there, so click it, press it in. Ugh, come on in. Oh, you're far today. Uh, and don't forget to give the subscribe button some love, ring the ding dong bell, and leave a comment down below as well. And I will see you guys in the next Xi'an video. Ciao.